And so, it's great to be back here in LA. I haven't been here for a couple of years, and so I'm, I'm I, like I said, I live in Tennessee and South Carolina, so I'm actually looking forward to getting some good Mexican food. And some real Mexican food. But um, this next song, uh, actually, this came out, I, I think it was 1979. It was the only song besides After the Love is Gone by Earth, Wind, and Fire that was in the top 10 that was not disco. Now, if that alone does not prove to you that there is a God, and he loved me very much, I don't know what you're looking for, but this song was actually written by Todd Rundgren, and when they brought it to us, because again, I'd been a Rundgren fan for a long time, loved his music, still do. So we did the song, and I loved it because it's clothed in a lot of spiritual ambiguity. It's got gospel and rock and soul and, and uh, just, you know, all classical feel to it. So it covered a lot of elements that I really, really enjoyed. And uh, I always do this for Dan. Uh, I don't really talk a whole lot about Dan. Dan, Dan went on after he and I split, uh, had a tremendous country career, um, and, and just, you know, a bunch of number one songs. and. And then I went into film and, as an actor and, and uh, uh, did music in film. And Dan and I, when we got together, discovered, we, you know, we like to sing together. So we do the Everly Brothers, the Righteous Brothers, uh, you know, groups like this. Dan always took the lead because he had such a tremendous lead vocal. And I always took the harmony. And uh, so we kind of developed the sound. We, we went around together till about 1980, so we were in the same band together for about 15 years. We, we got to the point of where we were closer than brothers, and literally, and I mean literally, we finished one another's sentences. It was like I could tell, I could tell what he was thinking, and he'd be, you know, 50 miles away. He could tell what I was thinking. It was, it was absolutely uncanny. So uh, I always do this for him, because again, we had a lot of good years together, and um, this is one you might know, and please sing along. And again, I look forward to meeting you. We've got uh, pie.